box down here and waiting for the guys to show up. Uh, we'll go in there and see what's going on with this thing. The unit we're working on, it goes up into this walking box in the back here. And he told me the breaker tripped. So the breaker panel comes over here. What they did is they got that funky little J box and you can see where they trenched it over here. And I can see how they got the breaker here. They got like two single poles and the one's tripped. So I'm gonna get both of those off. I'm sure that's a 208 system. And then uh, let's see if we can come over here and see if we got a direct short on anything or anything that looks obvious while both breakers are off. There's no way that's 115 volts. Is it? Well, it sure is. Wow. 115 or okay, let's take a look. Got the cover off. You can see there's already been some crusty stuff in the past. Um, where's my condenser fan motors coming up there? So we'll check a few things. Uh, we'll check a few things to ground here real quick. Sometimes what I like to do is I'll scratch a bunch of the paint off with my probe if I can and get it get it right on the casing. I don't know if any of you guys ever do that. I, I still do that. I know a lot of you guys will just go right to the copper. But uh, let's see what we have. My meter. Um, so I went and turned the breaker back on. Unit started up. I checked my uh, inrush amps. It's at 52. Run load's at about 10, which is right there. I'm gonna use the Copeland app. After I get it running, we'll take some readings and see what percentage we're within. Uh, I haven't gauged up on it yet, but we're going to. I'm noticing this right here. We got some bubbles in the sight glass. At startup, I wanna take a look at that evaporator coil here in a sec and try and see what's going on Why that thing it's tripping the breaker now. It looks like it's been flooding back. That's not oil there. That's all water. So I'm thinking this thing iced up. I know this box has a time clock on it for defrost. So we're going to check that too. But we got to find out why the breaker is tripping on this unit. I'm going to give this a try and see how it works out today with the uh, food piece probes. Let me, uh, let me get them hooked up on there. And then I'll turn it on and see, if, see how it works today. Oh, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go or say we're only dreaming. A whole new world. Okay, so I got all the probes hooked up. I'm pleased to report they're working great. With the measure quick app, no hiccups. It doesn't seem like there's uh, lag either. Well, we can test that on a pump down test in a minute. But my compressor superheats a bit low. I'm gonna have to fix that. And it does look like the TXV is flooding a little bit, so I'm gonna probably pinch that down. Sub cooling on these uh, little condensing units don't have a whole lot of sub cooling. So when you see like 5.4 there, that's normal for these, they're pretty inefficient. Now I'm going to take this probe, if I hit the home button, fingers dirty. Alright, there's my uh, ambient right now, 67 degrees, 68 degree ambient. I'll take this in the box and we'll use that for our box temperature. Remember, this app's for air conditioning. It's not a refrigeration app per se, but we could we can use it for refrigeration. I'm just stoked everything's just working really good right now. None, none of them, none of the probes are dropping out. I got five probes hooked up. Nothing's dropping out, so I'm stoked on that. All right, let's go into the cooler. I'll show you. Here's our evaporator section. This probe for our air temp. The back of the coil is not very Check the defrost timer. I did adjust the TXV down a little bit. And I got our compressor superheat above our minimums. 
once the box gets down to 10, we can check our uh, evaporator superheat and double check it. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. We're at a 24 degree evaporator, 96 condensing. Got a compressor superheat at 21.9, uh, about 4 degrees of subcooling, again, which is normal for that. Get this over here, we should be able to get our box temp. That's our box temp right now, so our box is still hot. And our dry bulb, and that's in the return air. Let's go, yeah, let's go back here. One more. Again, I'm using this air conditioning app for uh, refrigeration. The probes are updating, they're working just fine. I have not had one probe drop out uh, using the Measure Quick app. <clears throat> nice. Again, I got five probes hooked up. And you'll see our dry bulb in our box is uh, 45.4 degrees. We're at 24 degree evaporator, 98 condensing. You'll see I adjusted that TXV down a little bit. And the sight glass is barely flashing. Clearing up, the valve's adjusting. But it's settling down pretty good. And I'm running at about 10 amps. So I think I'm at a good spot here where I can plug some information into the Copeland app um, and then see what percentage I'm at in there. is the amp draw off of like an interfan motor 1.76 so then if I go to my main line coming in I'm at 11.5 um, just under 10 amps and the app says for my for what I'm showing I should be at 7.8 amps and I'm out of range on this compressor here it quite possibly could have uh, some internal issues. Checking our run capacitor, it's 25 UF. It's coming in at 25.91 on my meter. So I'm okay with that. Down the list, I've checked the start components. I just measured out the, uh, the compressor windings. They're good. Checked all my wire connections, checked my incoming voltage within spec I'm gonna start it up again let it run and then we'll take another amp draw reading the condenser fan motor is all right it's within spec so I'm leaning to maybe some uh, internally worn out compressor action is what I'm getting at my amp draw for this compressor is too high it's out of spec I'm gonna let it run right now. I'm gonna get a price for a compressor change out to my customer. The condensing unit seems to be in okay shape. So I'll probably get a new condenser fan motor and a compressor, it's Rotolock. But I'll get a price for a condensing unit too now that I'm looking at the condition of the, uh, the pressure switch looks terrible. Well, I'll see what I can come up with. Maybe I'll just get a new condensing unit for these guys. Here's what's cool on Measure Quick app. So remember, I put the uh, I put the air sensor in the box for um, my box temp. You can hit the trend button, and we're on air conditioning. It would give you supply return errors. This is actually trending your box temp right here. You can tap on it, see where you're at. button again we're back to the main screen so it's just right here trend so you can do a lot <clears throat> excuse me with this app
let's go to the next screen. Superheat sub cooling trend right here. My compressor superheats now at 23.1, 4.3 sub cooling. That's good for these little beater units. Pressures look good, but I am way out of spec on my amp draw, so. That's gonna be my conclusion on this one. And, uh, oh yeah, let's do a little pump down and see how much uh, lag there is on the Measure Quick app. There's delay. Update, let's go ahead and crack the valve. Let's see what happens here. So the pressure's coming up. reading pretty good right there. I think the first time I did it, I'm not sure if the probes were too happy. A little bit of a delay, not too bad. 